Hey guys, enjoying our reaction videos? If you are, please click the link to the reacted video in the description and show the creator lots of support. Thanks guys. Okay guys, we're gonna try something new and hope I think it might be a lot of fun today. Now there's a channel and a series here on YouTube called Marble Hornets. Quite some time ago, uh, a friend of ours here at the channel, Mel Gibson, I don't think it's the real Mel Gibson. The act, well, he could be a real Mel Gibson. I don't think it's the Mel Gibson, you know, uh, who ran around the post-apocalyptic planet being a badass and fought in Thunderdome, but it could be. But anyway, he, he, he suggested this to us, and that was quite some time ago. To be honest, I had forgotten about it, but since then, I've heard a few things mentioned about it, and the series sounds like it might be interesting. Now, first things first, please do not watch this with me for your first time seeing it. Again, first of all, I know they haven't been active on the channel in a number of years, but go to Marble Hornets, watch it on their channel first. Not only to, you know, to give them the props they deserve and to give them the views they deserve, but also it's a lot, I'm hoping you're watching my videos for the reaction, not for the video itself, because I am going to be talking over it. You're going to be very frustrated if you come to watch this material for the first time with me, because you're going to miss things. Now, the other, the other thing I want to lay out here too, just uh, to let you guys know before we begin, I believe from what I've understood about this, it has something to do with like occult types things or, or my, mysterious otherworldly type stuff. Be of the understanding, I don't believe in that stuff. So generally it doesn't scare me, but I love that type of storytelling anyway. I'll, you know, I, I enjoy great storytelling and from what I'm told, this, this contains it. Just like Blair Witch. I thought Blair Witch had a horrible ending, but the story kept me fascinated even though I don't believe in that crap. So I will be making jokes about it, things of that nature. It's not any disparaging towards the filmmakers. I think the filmmakers, if this if this goes up on the channel, it means I liked it, so I'm enjoying it. And I, again, I like storytelling, but I will be cracking jokes. I might be cracking jokes at pivotal points, so make sure you've seen the video first. All right, we got all that out there. Oh, and then what I'm going to do, I record several days in advance. I'm going to wait till this goes up, see you guys' reaction to it. If it seems like you're enjoying it with me, we'll continue it. If not, we'll move on to something else just as we always do. But this is, today we're going to watch the introduction, entry one and entry two. Now, as we get deeper in the series, the videos tend to get longer and then we'll do individual ones, but this should give us a good start. Okay, sorry about all the long-windedness. Let's go. This is the introduction. Oh, and I did glimpse this. The following clips are raw footage excerpts from Alex Crayley, a college friend of mine. I'm going to be reading these out loud. I know it annoys some of you, but some people are watching on small devices and it's hard to see. In 2006, Alex was in the process of shooting his student film entitled Marble Hornets. Over the three months that this took place, his film crew complained of his increasing levels of stress and irritability. Well, I can make a video because I got lots of stress. And eh, not a lot of stress, a lot of irritability. Near the end of shooting, Alex halted production indefinitely and dropped the unfinished product, project. He told me it was due to the unworkable conditions on his set, which was less than a mile away from his house. Most accidents take place right around your house. I asked what he planned to do with the countless number of tapes he had filled. Burn them. Well played. See, I, I, good storytelling here. <clears throat> Being a film student myself, I hated to see all of his work go to waste. And who knows? Maybe I'm full of shit and this is legit. And after some coercing, he agreed to give them to me. I don't have all the answers. Maybe, maybe there really is something occultish going on. Under the condition that I never mention it to him again. Cool. All right. I'm with you. Soon after, Alex transferred to another school and I haven't seen him since. At the time, I was too unnerved to look through the tapes and eventually forgot about them. Oh. A few days ago, I found them filed away in the back of my closet. We're going to enjoy this with him. After three years and zero contact with Alex, I have decided to look through them. All the tapes are unnumbered and missing timestamps. Other than taking place in the summer of 2006, it is impossible to determine the exact order or date of each. Oh, that's interesting. Should I find anything in any of them, I will upload it to keep as a permanent record. All right, I, I'm on board. I'm on board. I like, I like this. Again, not a believer in occult stuff, but 
also, again, I don't claim to have all the answers. I, I might be full of shit. The cult might be all around us. There might be spirits floating around me now, getting ready to stab me with pitchforks and shit. Wouldn't doubt that. Okay, this is, um, uh, okay, got that lined up. This is uh, entry one. This one's only 47 seconds. And again, the only reason I read, after viewing a couple of tapes and finding nothing unusual, I came across a clip that doesn't fit in with the others. From what I can tell, the following footage takes place inside Alex's house, not the set for Marble Hornets. The audio has been removed. Either the microphone was disabled at the time, or it was taken out afterwards. Hmm. All right. All right, something, something's going to be, is this going to be jump scare time? Uh, somebody's going to be outside here. Who's that? Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Okay, did you guys catch that? And again, the only reason I do this is because, again, I know a lot of you watch on small devices, and sometimes, you know, with the video is already small uh, while I'm doing a reaction video. So, okay, there's... Is that Slenderman? Is Slender here? Oh, shit, I want him to come over and meet Golden and Jingles. And he looked towards the... Ca this is the only thing that was out of the ordinary on this particular tape. After seeing this clip, I'll keep an eye out for occurrences similar to this one in the future. All right, that was pretty cool. That, 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 I like that. that get, and again, just because I don't believe that these occult type things exist doesn't mean it don't give me a little bit of a jump scare when you see these. And now maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this maybe this isn't occultish. Maybe, maybe it's supposed to be some real human being that stalked them. I don't know. Maybe I've gotten the wrong impression from it. All right. This is entry two. This is a minute and a half. This last one we'll watch. Again, the and, and I know for some reason it bothers some people, but the reason I read the text on there is, again, it's, it's too small for some to make out well. Entry two. Here we go. After a few more hours of tapes, I found this clip of Alex talking while driving. For now, I will assume that this probably took place before the events of entry number one. I got home late tonight and I was taking Rocky for his walk about uh, 20 minutes ago, so around midnight. This was near the set of Marble Hornets, uh, a little bit farther down the road. We saw Marble really Hornets. Guy standing in the middle of the street, just I wonder what the movie was about. For whatever reason, this really set off Rocky and uh, he, just, he got really scared. He wouldn't move. Now, and they say dogs are supposed to be more more sensitive to uh, beings from beyond, I guess, type thing. Uh -huh, so Rocky knows. He, just, he got really scared. He, Yo, get him, Rock. He kept on pulling out his leash to go back home. There was something about this guy that was just, it was strange. So, uh, we had Listen, people say that about me all the time, too. So, so being strange doesn't necessarily mean, you know, you're evil. It was strange. So, uh, kind of does. Back home. Is the light that he's standing under. So oh shit. Alright, this this is good. This is good storytelling. I have a little bit of sweaty palms. Hello, Slenderman. Slenderman, don't bite me. Okay, you can't really see it well. Should have brought Rocky. Not, but I don't see anyone around here, so I guess he's moved on. Uh, uh Jump scare? Yeah, there's just something Don't. about that. Oh, no jump scare? The tape ends there. Oh, ho, ho. from what he describes, I think he had seen something similar to the figure that appears in entry number one. Yeah, I would say. Uh, okay, that that's pretty good. I like this. I like this type of stuff. I'm going to watch this regardless, but I'm going to watch, uh, again, you guys let me know in the comments, but as well, as I told you, I watch... I check the watch time that you got, how long you guys watch each video and stuff to give me an idea of what you like. If you guys are enjoying this, we'll definitely continue this. I, I think that was pretty good. Now I'm, God damn it! now I'm anxious. Now I gotta wait five, six days for this to go up on the channel <laughs> so that you guys can let me know what you think of it. But again, you can't, for me, I can't let the fact that I'm not a believer in occult, in occult type things, stop you from enjoying some great storytelling. And again, I, let me know what you guys think in the comment section if we go forward with this, what your views are on other world, other worldly or occult type things. Do you believe in them? Kind of on the fence? 
not at all, whatever the case may be, but I think this is well put together. This, this might be a lot of fun. Let me, let me know what you guys think. And now I'm just putting up a brave front. I actually fully believe in that stuff, and I just pissed all over myself. Although at my age, the two might be unrelated.